All right, guys, on this episode or training, really, we're going to show you how to maximize your podcast promotion, um, specifically with organic. I'm going to show you the system that we use in the podcast launch formula to train clients on how to do this for their own businesses. So you can take this um, training and you can actually implement it into your own business. So if the, the problem, I'll start back with a problem here um, so that you guys can really understand this. And that is most podcasters have an issue or even if you're launching thinking of launching a podcast which is where we really use this um but most people have a problem with what happens after the podcast goes live how does it get into the hands of the people who are going to want to listen because they have the problem that i solve how do i get into prospects new listeners how do i get into the hands of my customers how do i use it in my follow-up sequences and nurture the existing leads that i have with my podcast so that they'll, I'll stay top of mind and I'll be able to close the sale when they are ready to buy. That is the problem we're solving with this training. Um, I'm going to turn my, my phone around here cause I'm recording on my phone and, uh, you guys should be able to see a spreadsheet, um, that I'm using. And this is, again, it's something we give away to our clients in the podcast launch formula program, but, uh, I'm going to go over it here with you guys cause I think it's really powerful. So, um, Backstory on this is that one of our clients created it for uh, his show and then we were using it and then we we're like, wow, we should actually use this for everybody. This is a great idea. So shout out to um, our client, Brett, for sharing this um, and creating this whole system. But what this does is it creates a linear process to go help you go from idea to recorded to launch to promotion. All right. And every one of these little boxes has an owner. So one of the big problems podcasters have is that they'll maybe they'll hire a VA or they'll hire, they'll have an EA or someone on their team do the posting. And then that person does it for two or three weeks Then they get sick. Then they forget about it. Then they quit. Then they leave or just like completely vanish <laughs> or turn into ghosts. Um, I've heard it all. Trust me. I've heard it all. So if you don't have this system in place, what happens is people say they're doing it or they do a half ass job and you have no checks and balances to really catch up or really, uh, verify that they're doing it right so this training this little i'm going to see if i can see it here with you um this sheet really and truly goes over and i'll scroll over here in a second this has all of these steps in place um anything from creating the show notes to linking to the blog to uh creating the links to share on social on your facebook group to your email list to the guest and then also after the podcast is gone, how do you kind of reuse it in your in your uh, actual marketing? So, hey, Lewis here again. And if you haven't launched a podcast yet, then I want you to listen up really closely because I'm about to give away the freaking farm. For Black Friday, we're putting together something special, a special live training to share what we've learned from launching over 55 podcasts and generating over 6 million downloads and hundreds of thousands of dollars for our clients, especially for clients who have high ticket coaching businesses or consulting or done for you services. This is the meat and potatoes of what we've used to help get those clients to the top of iTunes, to the top of Spotify, to all these platforms and help them drive tons and tons of sales. Now, normally it would cost a minimum of five grand and north of five grand now to get help uh, from us implementing these strategies. But for Black Friday, I want to do something fun. I also want to do something interactive where I can talk to a lot of people. Um, so this is going to be a live training. We're actually going to be teaching you the exact strategies we've used to help get those clients to the top of Apple Podcasts and also close high-ticket clients with their podcast. So both of these things are going to be covered in this masterclass training. So if you want to get the training, then I want you to go to the show notes of this episode and click on the masterclass link. I'll make sure my team will make sure it is very easy to find. It is probably going to be in all caps. It's going to say masterclass link. And if you're listening to this right now, um, in 2020, November of 2020, then you're going to be able to jump onto the live training with me where you'll be able to ask me questions. Um, and also you'll get access to the recording, the scripts, the funnels, the plug and play and email templates, everything we use to launch these clients every single time. And if you're listening to this in the future, somewhere after November of 2020, then the link to purchase the masterclass is going to be there as well. It's going to be the pre the recording. And then it's also going to have everything I just mentioned, the scripts, the funnels, the templates, everything. Okay. Oh, and one last thing, there is zero risk 
to you at all. If you attend this masterclass and it is not 100% awesome for you, then I am more than happy to give you a 100% refund. All right. So there you have it. I hope you at least go and check out the landing page to see some of the results and testimonials from other business owners to see their results and just to know that I'm not blowing smoke. Okay. Um, I know there's a lot of people in this space. I'm not, I'm not uh, blind to that. So um, again, hope you would join and attend the uh, profit ready podcast launch masterclass. Hope to see your face on the call and looking forward to helping you get results with your podcasts. Now back to the episode. This sheet has all of that on there. So what happens is every single, see if I can change my screen. No, I can't. Basically, I'll, I'll actually just just um, walk through it here with you, um, speaking it to you. Um, every single column has a owner, as an owner for that column. So if their name is in that column, say, for example, my assistant, Eloisa, if she was in the, you know, share on my Facebook stories on for that column, she would be responsible for checking that box off and making sure that every single time we have a new episode, she takes out the sheet, then she goes through and makes sure she posts it on the Facebook group, the email list, she emails it to the guest, and then she posts it on YouTube, and then also four weeks later, she comes back and she also recycles this through our, our content schedule. So this is a very easy to see um, sheet that allows you to do all that. Honestly, this is something that for us, I, I see it now as a, a must for your podcast because it gives you control over what you can control. Remember, we can't control what or if our client or person clicks subscribe or if they click listen or download, but we can control um, the things we the things that uh, will get that get it in front of them, such as sharing it on LinkedIn, such as having it in our follow up process for our emails, such as sending a DM with the link to it. So um, another thing, a couple of the tips here you can have is like, if you have a, let's say you have an email, you have an email list of um, two different types of people, people who want like product A and people who want product B. Uh, you can have your assistant use this, create a section on the sheet that says, hey, if this is a, if this is a podcast around about product, product A, then email to all the people on that list. If you have a, a podcast around product B, email to all the people on that list. All right, so you can get really laser focused on on what you tell people to do in the columns in terms of like how to promote the episode. So for us though, it has like, for example, it has post as a flashback email four weeks later, post as a make a, make an infographic out of it, um, post as a flashback Facebook group, um, you know, content piece. And then also use it on LinkedIn eventually. So that's four weeks after the podcast goes live. Uh, so there's tons and tons of things you can customize in here. But ultimately, guys, I wanted to make sure you uh, knew about this. And if you want this, I'm going to give it away for free for you. So there's actually going to be a link in the show notes if you want to check out this this document. And it's just going to make your lives a hell of a lot easier. So um, that is it. I'll cut this off and I will see you later. Make sure you grab the document and make sure you... Um, implement it. Uh, if, even if you are launching a podcast, and again, this is what we use it for the most, but if you have a podcast now, this will really benefit you. And then if you don't, this will help you set up the systems right the first time so you can actually consistently see growth through your organic marketing. So I'll see you later. Enjoy and talk soon.